What's up, guys? Uh, so, a lot of you guys have seen, or seen, or did see, or maybe you didn't if you're new to the channel, but there was a 96 Impala sitting in our shop for a while in some of the videos, and we never really touched on it. Well, this video is going to explain how that car came about, uh, what kind of happened with it. We we got this thing like two days before we left for Australia last year, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So. This video is going to explain kind of how it came about, and then uh, afterwards we'll, we'll kind of tell you what happened with it, where it went, what we did with it or didn't do with it, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in the meantime, go ahead, click that subscribe button, uh, share the channel, share the video, like the video, comment on the video, all that good stuff helps us grow this thing. And uh, also, go to the website, www.themurdernova.com. we got lots of merch for sale online, uh, add them to the cart, and uh, help support us a little bit and we appreciate it guys yep more support more videos more dumb stuff that we get to do more money that we can spend on different products or you know projects yep. whatever whatever it is so we're going to try to do as much as we possibly can to up this channel uh, and, and we've said it in the past and I feel like we're moving more and more towards that goal of ours and, and the goal of ours is to not do anything except except YouTube. Except the cool stuff that we yeah. like to do. So. Uh, and and not that we're going to quit racing. Uh, in fact, I think it's just the opposite of that. Yeah. Uh, if we stop doing some of the stuff that we're doing now, uh, and and I've got no, I don't hide anything from anybody. If we stop doing NPK, we're, it's going to open up way more for. The stuff that we love to do uh guys we still want to be out street racing miss we just don't ever have time we we miss it we love doing it uh we're working to get aiden's car closer to where we can just just go out with the 55 the shop truck uh dalton's car aiden chevelle the f-150 uh, the f-150 that is the stuff I, I mean we're not building this arsenal so that we can't race them just to say we have them just to say that we have them we, we want all of these vehicles to be on go and to race them at different events uh we want to take the 55 and do some drag and drives um and that's the stuff that that's the goal that we're working towards here uh and when that finally happens and we can stay away from mpk yeah um yeah we, we enjoy doing MPK, uh, but honestly, the reason we enjoy it is because of the interaction with the fans that we get and traveling around and, and racing at different tracks. What we don't like is the money that we spend doing it. Uh, we don't have the money to do it. Yeah. Uh, and every year, all we're trying to do is keep up with the Joneses. Yeah. And, uh, and at some point, it's just not going to work out anymore. So um, if we can get rid of the haulers and the stackers and the, the MPK stuff, then that could afford us to hit all these other small races that we really truly want to go to. I tell you, man, two things. One, watching all those live feeds from the pad the other night. Yeah. That like it was cool to see, but it sucked we weren't there. And then watching everyone's recap videos from afterwards. And then two that road trip to go get the new burnout truck man that, that well, took me back and, there and then honestly i i don't mind racing at the track i, I don't mind it at all this is not a, a bash the track uh but i, I want to do some some more some more stuff that that we're used to doing like and, and I, I don't even know if we're really used to doing it anymore we've been away from it for so long you know how it is once you step away from something uh it continues to grow okay so there's no way that we could step back into that stuff that, that we love doing and, and be on top. We understand that. Um, I feel like we've got a pretty good handle right now on MPK. Yeah. But I want to do some back of the track stuff. I want to do some front side stuff. I want to do some radial stuff. Oh, I want to, there, there's lots of stuff that I want to do. I want to go, it's been three or four years since we've built the donk. We literally have raced that thing at the track one time. I want to go to a sticky surface and see what we can get that car to do. Uh, I want to roll race that car. 
I, I, there's, there's lots of things that I want to do that we just unfortunately don't have the time to do. And right now, whenever we do have some time, uh, we're in here in the shop pumping out videos. It would be amazing to be able to do that stuff. It's four degrees outside right oh, now. Dude, it is uh, we have no heat in the shop, so we have these big Mr. Heaters everywhere. And, uh, trying to stay warm in here. Uh, so we obviously can't be out racing right now. Uh, but we could be out doing burnouts and things like that. Yes, <laughs> so, yes, for sure. So, But things like that, guys, that's the way we want this channel to go. And that's the reason we've been pumping the content out. Uh, we're trying to grow this and see if it's even possible for us to do this. Because uh, something's got to pay the bills. Yeah. So go ahead check this video out enjoy it and then we'll have a little recap and kind of let you know where the car is what happened with it etc etc afterwards so enjoy okay so a couple to what a couple days ago you you dropped this deal off a couple days ago uh whenever dad repainted the the nova there was a piece of the front i'm not real sure oh, yeah, no, they all seen it, it. Oh, the really? marker light missing? Really? Oh yeah, no, people they all said seen stuff it. about oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh, I was come just on, man. Leave it. Our viewers don't. Hey, I was just gonna leave it. Nothing. <laughs> it was one of those things to me that I was like, man, that sucks. Eh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, no, they seen it. But anyways, uh, we dropped it off to Mister Paint. Uh, he's the one that airbrushed it all the first time. It's crazy too, because he goes, "Who did this?" Oh, he knew it wasn't his work. I didn't know that it wasn't his work. Like. We had somebody touch it up, uh -huh. is all. And he goes, oh yeah, no, they didn't touch it up. They redid it. He because he knew it wasn't his. So at some point, whenever we took the thing to RK, and they made, and then I remembered that they made the, the thing a one piece uh -huh. front end. So they had to do that whole top piece where it had the Chevrolet and all that stuff on it. You know? And so I go, well, I didn't realize that they did that much work to it, you know? And I said, but over here it was, I don't know, what did we hit? The marker light? Yeah. Being gone, the wall. Well, chances are, and this time we brought an enclosed trailer. That so, way so that I could not jump up in the air. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it looks good, man. Yeah. Fucking right. Cool. Yeah, because. Man, Phantom Dick can't even see where I scratched it all up. I told him about it though. Hey, it had a big nick. Was it on this side or this side? Yeah, it's that side and then this one. The, and then the there's front. a huge yeah. nick right here. I'm just glad it happened to you and not okay. me. I me dude, I messed it all <laughs> up, man. There was a 50-50 shot of which way the wind was blowing 95 mile an hour. Yeah. And it lifted it up out of the back of the truck. Yeah. Messed it all up, you know? Yeah. After Dad did pretty good on it. You oh, know? yeah, it's nice. That's for so, sure. Man, killer. So, yeah. I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. And he said, oh yeah, no, people are already talking about it on YouTube about how, just, how you see it. Yeah, it just sticks out like a sword. Thumb. Well, we hit the wall with the car oh, okay. and it messed this whole side up and the door and the, had to put a quarter panel on it, you know. Oh, was that one when I text you and asked yeah. if you're all right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, hey, those things happen. Yeah. You know? Yep. So, yep, looks killer, man. Uh, let's. We, we want to go ahead and load this up first and then we can, we can then we can look at the car before i get you know into the car thing yeah, yeah and forget about the yeah thing. yeah yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll leave this here and drive home yeah, hey so. danny let's take care of the oh yeah tucked away back in here isn't it? yeah Man, it's just I mean, covered. <laughs> Dude, it's just hey, body shop. Yeah. You know? hey, yeah. We understand what body shops like. This is the storage. This is 15 years of storage right here. And you got to come to a point in your life where you oh, say, okay, so the back glass is broke, but it ain't out. Yeah, it will be by the time we get home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think what we'll do, we can put some tape over that and it'll probably stay. Yeah. We can roll the, we can put a power deal on it and roll the see, window see up. The trunk and your trunk about. is down here where he, Tried to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I've got a new trunk cord over there. Man, and honestly, then, honestly, I may fix that one. It will fix. Well, it's probably got all the original shit on it. Oh, it's got yeah. the you know That's I mean? where the sticker is. That's why yeah. we didn't buy that one because yeah. it didn't have it. Yeah, so I went and looked at one one time and it didn't have the sticker underneath it. Yeah. And there's a certain code on that sticker that tells you that this is an original Impala SS. Oh, really? And uh, th and that's the reason I didn't buy that one. Yep. So, 
even though it turned out to be a real one. I have the ignition key for it, so I don't know if that works for this or not. I don't know. I don't think it does either. There's there should be another another black round one. Remember we found the hood popper in the glove box. In the glove box. Yeah, we have boot power. If you give me a minute, I'll go get. It it ain't a big deal uh, to to get power. Uh, Interior's nice. Yeah, no, hey, it's. We'll need to roll the window up for sure before you travel. Oh yeah. Okay. Feel like uh, it'll all come back, you know. Take it and detail it. Oh, they even stop and get the car wash on the way home. Depends on if that window stays in it or not. But I mean, it's a decent car. Yeah, for sure. It's a little bit hard, like it needs to be. You know, the seats need to be conditioned. But other than that. Shut's good. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Like, uh-uh. see, a little rip right there, a little bit right there. But other than that, and then you can see he said that they pulled the speakers out of the back, and so they pulled that back. Yeah, just one the speaker. Back, they pulled that back corner. That back they corner. Stole that speaker. This huh. speaker. No, this speaker's gone too. And that's all they took was the speaker. Huh. We figure it was crackhead or something. Oh yeah. Just stealing shit for stealing shit, you know? Just for sport. No no reason. So okay. Yeah. I say we uh we might even have to uh I got some dollies that we can put underneath it and oh, be able to yeah, roll it. Hey, that'd be amazing because I'm not a hundred percent sure if uh I gotta roll in '96, this. surely we can put it in neutral. We can put it in neutral. Okay. With a power deal. The it, I've got yeah, a yeah, pit over here with wood in it, and we gotta get it off the wood to do that. Put the doll in there. Oh wow! And the door shut. Amazing. Is it black or it's black? It's isn't black. it? Not the maroon. It's black. It would be cool if it was maroon or even green. Yeah. Just because, and, and trust me, I think blacks look better, but they made more of them. Yeah. You know? They're not as. See, I th- always thought they made more of the maroon. I'm pretty. I know the green's the rarest. The The green is definitely the rarest, and then red, and then maroon, red, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, yep, it's actually not in bad shape. No. Like I said earlier, man. I mean, this is what Mr. Paint does. Like, yeah. If he says it's in pretty good shape, it's probably in pretty good shape. Right on, man. Okay. Let's. uh, We'll get. I get the power supply so we can get the window rolled up and get it moved forward and then we'll get the dollies underneath it okay what we'll do is we'll have danny clear out this this lexus we're working on and we'll have you back the trailer in okay that way we'll just do it all right here inside no problem it's weird that this is off though it's pretty nice. I did clean up real good. You should be able to just key on and put it in neutral. Like it doesn't have to have power. Yeah. I don't know. Man, man has to. Has to. Huh? You know, a bigger dude. You know, mm-hmm. oh yeah, oh, there it is. Uh, I like this being all original. Yeah, you know, ooh, a little sticky. Yeah, there's oh, yeah. a trunk popper right there. Ooh. And then look at that. Yeah, this thing falls all the way down. You want to hook that up just for uh, yeah. the window? Well, that and put it. Can you get it, it neutral? Oh yeah, it's already in neutral. Okay. You gotta hit this battery deal just right to get the power to go. You got the key on. Is the key in the on position? Yep. Because it's got an alarm, dude. And it'll, when this thing actually perfect <laughs> bites the power, it it's loud. Yeah. Look at that, Phantom. What is that? What is that? Like a 
uh, back in the day, they had all them CD changers and shit, right? Oh, Isn't yeah. Isn't that what that is? Yeah, that is what that old is. JVC CD changer? Yeah. Got anything yet? No. Mm -hmm. Any not had it. Yeah, no, it's, it's starting to roll up. It's got to hit that thing just right. It's It's got corrosion all over that battery cable. Oh yeah, it's going up. Almost there, almost there. All right, it's up. Got it? Okay. Yep. That's a good thing, it's nice. It's pretty nice. Like, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Like, I kind of thought, oh man, you know. That'd be pretty cool to get one of those, you know. Plus, it's the 96 that I've always wanted. Yeah. You know, but, hey, this thing's nice. Very, you know, for for being sitting around, you know, nobody really gave a shit about running into it or anything for the last 15 years. But for sitting around that long, it's still really good shape. I feel like uh, Mr. Paint is pretty, what do you call it? Anal retentive. Okay. Yeah. Anal? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, and I feel like... Uh, you know, I mean, because when we go in there, there's a couple different types of body shops. There's shit that's <laughs> fucking just trash everywhere. Uh -huh. And body shops are hard, hard, hard to keep clean, man. And his is fairly clean for a body shop. I yep. feel like he's the guy where if you borrow his 10 millimeter, you put it back. Yeah, well, you know as soon I mean? as you're done. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so, you know, if he says that it's a nice car, I believe him, yep. you know, so... No, it seems to be so i would get it home and and see what takes fired up either right that, yeah either that or I, I may even actually stop by look at there's just dust blowing off of it right now i believe it i, I think i'm gonna stop at a car wash on the way home you need to stop just, at a blue beacon and wash this whole I damn know, unit but i'm afraid they're gonna blow, blow that, that back glass out <laughs> yeah so yeah and you know they will oh yeah so and won't care nope. just keep on washing look at look at the dust just blowing off of it yeah Okay, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get a bill of sale, you know, title, all that good stuff. And, yep. uh, yeah. I don't need a bill of sale, but the yeah. title's bad enough. Ain't nothing but a piece of paper. That's right. Uh, I've, I've got to start now. We've got this old B body home. Sean took her by. Oh, yeah. Sean took her by the car wash, sprayed off 15 years worth of dust, get a little better look at it. And uh, right now he's. Yeah, you're not supposed to breathe that stuff in, huh? No, I don't think so. So he's uh, cleaning up some corroded battery cables when I shove a battery in this thing and see if it might fire up. So th these cars have always been pretty cool to me. There was a, a guy whenever I was growing up in the town I was from, he had one and uh, it was pretty custom. Like had big old choppy cam in it and stuff, a custom paint job. And uh, he, he was one of those guys that didn't really have a job, but he had money, you know what I mean? So he was into some stuff. Yeah. But man, he always had the coolest cars and he had one of these that was sick. I remember pushing shopping carts at Walmart <laughs> and he'd leave a stoplight racing somebody and just it sounded cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, they're cool ass cars, man. And, and we've talked about it before and how much I like them and, and all that. And I just, I've never had what is, is that power steering? I, seems like it. Huh. Got some in it. But I've never had a chance to have one. Yeah. You know, and not one that I like. And, yeah. it, and it's not because they're not out there. They are. I just, you know. Well, we talked about it in the video where we got that one. You know, there's there's $10,000 ones, and then there's really nice ones. <laughs> yep. Yep. So. Yeah, and we don't have either one of those two yeah <laughs> like this one will be okay yeah i think like look at all that it i just, mean when this thing leaves we need to clean it up when this thing leaves chris's i bet it uh i bet it looks like a different car yeah. people are probably looking at it now going god dang what a waste 
Yep, but they just got no visions. That's right. I want to, I don't want to totally go over this, but I want to put a fuel pump in it and just see if it's going to start. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour the, t the gas out that whatever's in it, put a fuel pump in it. And we're gonna crank it over. So, oh, you got a fuel pump. I was gonna say, we, I got a fuel got pump a fuel over pump. my box. Ooh. Look at this. We probably really should clean all this out a little Man, bit too. definitely hit that with the air compressor. Oh, yeah, that's all plugged in. Yeah. Ugh. Let's get it up and, and see about the gas tank. I'm sure it's just a couple screws. Yep. Let's get a look underneath this thing, we man. Got your stick. There ain't no fucking rust. No. Like, no, it's pretty clean. It's clean under here. Still got Stock the Stock exhaust. Cadillac converters. Yep. Ooh. Sound like there's a lot of packing yeah. in there. <sighs> Go ahead and pull these springs out while we're under here, huh? Yep. Swap them babies out. Ooh. Old plastic tank, simple to get to. We've got yep. two bolts up here, and then these two straps. Oh yeah, piece of cake, dude. Piece of cake. This thing will be out in a couple minutes. <laughs> um, you want to get the Jim jack, jack, and then I will. Shh, look at that. I mean, what's the chances we check? for a fuse first or a relay because they said they replaced the pump in it once okay but i even if the pump does work oh I'll yeah all no. this through the you're injection right. you're right like and it might work and it might be fine but but it might not this isn't a car that we just want to go let's see see if we can get this thing started yeah this is a car that i'd like to drive yeah look man if it's a 94 or 95 <laughs> we'd do that <laughs> yep if it was 94 or 95, we'd go drive it through the pond. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go, look guys, this ain't no 95 or 96 Impala, or 94 or 95 Impala. No, this ain't no parts Impala. That's right. So. How people used to talk about the 74s. 74s are parts cars. That's what everybody says, man. Yeah. Hey, whatever. Time is right. Ooh, I got 10 minutes and I gotta go. Oh, oh. it does not want to come out there. That's why. Shouldn't be anything else. Oh, just the feed lines, yep. huh? Oh, the return came on. That's probably just a vent. We need the deals to pop yeah. them out, right? Yep. Actually, I probably just need to go back up with this and Pop them out. It's about time to fire this bad boy up, huh? Yeah, after we figure out however to cheat the alarm. Oh. It's got an aftermarket alarm on it. Anything? Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. I'm going to do it a couple of times. So put a new fuel pump in it twice. And then uh, we're priming this thing up right yeah, now. And fuel gauge still. Yeah. Not doing shit. 
I'm gonna try it. Okay. Whew, it's close. That's weird. Something burning over there? There's some smoke. Where? Right here. I see it. What's it smell like, Aiden? It smells like a I can't smell. It's just right. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Spray a little in there. Is there a fuel yeah, filter put, on it? I put everything on it that that was... That Is there was another good. fuel filter on it, like an external? I don't know. All right, it looks that good. Right. So as you've seen, we did not get it running. Uh, we actually picked this car up like two or three days whoa, before. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got it running. I mean, it was running. It ran. Technically, it was hey, running. Right there, it runs. It doesn't matter where it gets its, its fuel supply from. Running is running. <laughs> fuel supply. Yeah. Like, we could have took that thing down the road if you'd have just hung out the window, yep. sprayed the it into, right into the throttle body, it would have ran. Yep. So, we did get it running. Not on its own. So, so the deal was, we picked it up like two or three days before we were leaving for Australia. We still had a lot of stuff to get done before we could get on that plane for the 16-hour plane ride. So, uh, once we knew the car was actually going to run, we, we were kind of good with it. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't rod knocking and, and just horrible. Yeah. Before we put any money into it. Yeah. So it ended up, it ended up being the fuel pump. Um, even though we didn't necessarily do that, Aiden wanted to drive that thing while we were gone. So him and Dalton. Aiden and Dalton running. pulled the gas tank out of it. Uh, luckily it's a plastic fuel tank. Yep. And it wasn't bad inside. They uh, they cleaned it out. They put a new fuel pump in it, and I was getting videos from Aiden while we were in Australia about him and Dalton cruising the thing down the road. So I mean, I'd say you're good. Man, you look great in it. Definitely, it's car wash. Probably good. Hang on, let me get this side. Golly. Say he's definitely long. driving it all over Oklahoma City. Yep. And I'm like, you don't know anything about that car. No, I don't even think it, was it tagged yet or anything? I don't know. I don't so know. you've seen the ugly. Well, we didn't have a title. Oh, that's right. Okay, it, so. The, the title was a, was, a, it was a deal. It, it was a thing. So that car had set for 15 years, like you heard in the video. It was a real weird deal. It ended up, Mr. Paint had it. He texted Sean. And of course, you know, Sean likes the 96 in Oh yeah, I, I like the 94s, 95s, and 96s. Yeah. Of course, the 96 is, is the most sought after with the with the console yeah. shifter, yeah. but, uh, and, and I still love those cars. Yeah. And eventually, we'll end up getting another one, but so so it, nice. it, it had the ugly wheels on it. We found some stock wheels that had been polished up, yep. put those on there, and then, like I said, Aiden and Dalton got it running. They drove it all over, and, uh, never really had plans for that car it was just one of those things that it's one of those things that it's five grand man what are you gonna do what are you gonna do I, I don't know if we told how much it was or anything but this car sitting there it looked amazing uh there was a, there was a few you know whiskey dents in it whatever they had to have a new somebody, back glass because it was smashed out. somebody had tried to break into it and they smashed up the the, the deck lid on the back and they broke out the back window yeah um other than that, it was a pretty solid car. The paint job looked pretty good. Yeah, the interior was pretty nice. It was just hard. It got softened up once it got detailed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, you know, it, there was nicer cars out there. It had 180,000 miles on it. Something we didn't like ever know that until the last. Uh, oh, yeah, because the cluster Aiden didn't Aiden said work. that the, the cluster didn't work. It didn't tell us. Yeah. So Aiden said he was driving it at one point, hit a bump or something, 
buster came on. He said it only came on for a minute though, but he said that it had 180 something thousand miles on it whenever it yeah. whenever it uh, magically popped up. Yeah. So so this wasn't the first Impala. I had actually forgot about the one we flew the to Georgia one. and drove, drove back home. home. Oh yeah, that was a road trip too. Yeah, that was uh, that was the last road trip before the one we just made. Really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, that, was you guys, cool too, that, that was a cool car. So that wasn't even the first one we looked at on that trip. The first one we looked at, and uh, it was something fishy, so we, we didn't get it. Found another one, went and bought it, drove it home. You, you guys remember that? So I'm thinking I've had the the turquoise one, blue, whatever. Uh -huh. And I saw all the video and everybody <laughs> talking about blue being my favorite color. And uh, you know. as soon as we got there, I looked inside the truck and I went, oh man, the interior's blue. Oh, I'm gonna hear about this. I thought it was black. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter. What? Yes. So you've had the turquoise and the black. Yes. And so the next one is gonna have to be the the dark cherry. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So so here's the deal with ninety four to ninety six Impalas. There's five to ten thousand dollar ones, and then there's twenty five to thirty thousand dollar ones. There's really no in between. And, and we've never had the twenty five thousand dollar one. Right. And the the ones that we have been able to afford. Even though they've been nice, they haven't been like. They're not the one. This is the one I gotta keep. They're not know? the one that you got that you that you that you're gonna keep. They're ones that you're just gonna flip. Yeah. So. so and and also it's another one of those deals. It's kind of like the Typhoon and the TTA. Like they're cars that you thought were cool when you were younger. And I wanted them. And you wanted them. And now I would sell them both right now. <laughs> just yeah. just to throw that out there. Yeah. Um, it's winter time, guys, and right now, and it's a double double edged sword. Double 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 edged sword. Yeah. Winter time is. I don't make any money in the winter time. I. We know that we make all of our money when we are selling merch and when we are at the racetrack. Uh, that's when we make all of our money. So I have to try to hold on to as much as possible and make it through the winter times. Unfortunately, the winter times is when I spend most of my money because we're yeah. upgrading everything. Uh, we blew up the MPK car. Uh, that was expensive. Uh, and then everything else to make it this next season, we're, we're having to, to do right now. We have to freshen up all of our transmissions, all of our converters, all of our pro chargers, yeah. all of our gear drives. Uh, the Pete needed all kinds of work just to make sure that uh, we're not gonna have any trouble with it. Uh, all new brakes on the stacker. So unfortunately, right now is the time where I'm trying to hold on to any money that I have and make it through the winter. So I would love to go out and buy more projects, but it's just not, it's not in the cards right now. You know? So contrary to popular belief, there's not three or four million dollars in a bank account oh, somewhere. That would that, be nice. <laughs> um, you know, we've, we've mentioned a couple of times we've got to buy a new MPK motor and you know, they think those things just grow on trees, I guess. And unfortunately, well, they obviously, don't. even if you have the money, they don't just grow on trees. No, they're waiting on parts. Yeah, like, it's still going to be another three weeks before we get the MPK motor. But when we do, we will show everything going back together with the MPK car, and we got some special things coming up with it. Uh, yes, it's going to be pretty amazing. Yes, we uh, do. We we do have you know. Ram Jack is going to be back on the side. If you didn't like the sticker last year, you ain't going to like it this year either. <laughs> or you might. You yeah. Know. It or might, if you didn't like it, yet. we're going to leave the red. The, the wheels red. Yep. So there's that. Yep. Oh man, they definitely did like car. car. It is a good looking car. Your dad, he yeah, did himself on that yep. thing. So, uh, but yeah, so that is the story of the '96 Impala that you guys seen in several videos. We like. I don't think we ever posted a picture of it and said, hey, check this out, nothing. It was just kind it's of just in always the in the background. Yeah. So we, it never really had a purpose. Uh, you know, obviously we filmed us going to get it and stuff like that, but then like... We should have went out and did some donuts in it. We should have. We should have. Do we uh, want to tell about getting rid of it? Yeah, so I think, hell, I think we were gone racing when it got rid of We were gone racing and Aiden wanted to order some parts for his Chevelle. He has been trying with his schedule. It's it's just been hectic. He's a senior in high school. Man. He's a senior in high school. He's got a girlfriend. He plays basketball and he plays baseball. He goes to a trainer. Uh, he gets up uh, and goes in before school every morning and, and works out. And then he has a uh, trainer every Wednesday night. So, what's that? 
Man, we gotta figure out how to close those. Yeah. Um, so it's hectic and, and I'm not going to push him to be out here. But then again, I'm also not gonna work on his Chevelle whenever he's not out here. So it's kind of give and take. So he still comes out here. Uh, he's been working on it the last few nights. But the, the thing is, is he wanted some money to order some stuff for his car, get some parts coming in. And I, I made a deal with him. I said, you sell that Impala, you take whatever you sell that thing for. I said, don't sell it for under, I said, we probably have seven in it. We gave five for it, the new back glass. Yeah. Uh, we put the wheels on it. The wheels and were then, the most expensive part yeah, of the whole project. And, and then, you know, fuel pump, stuff like that. Uh, I said, I'm okay with breaking even on it. Uh, but don't lose money on it. Uh, I, and I told him, whatever money you sell that car for, you can put towards your Chevelle. I think half the money went towards this truck, to be honest with you. <laughs> Probably. Like, no, new, I know, front I know bumper, how it goes. Yeah. new front bumper, new grill, yeah. uh, headlights. So yeah. Aiden bought all of that stuff uh, on his truck with that. Um, and then the rest of it, he has been buying little things for, for the Chevelle. Uh, so there's that, you know. Uh, whether you think so or not, I, I do give him a lot of stuff, but he also pays his way. Oh, yeah. Like right now, he just went up to the store. It's, like I said, four degrees outside. He went to fill up uh, three five-gallon jugs of diesel so that we could keep these shop eaters running. So we'll stay out so here. So he's helping. standing out there like that, <laughs> shivering. You know, well, he's probably he's in, Well, he's in shorts. Yeah, he's in shorts. Yeah. So. He's out there right now filling up uh, three five-gallon jugs, and that's something I didn't want to do. It's cold outside. Yeah, I did it this morning in my truck, and I didn't want to do it. Ugh. So um, that's what he ended up selling it while we were gone. I believe he got eighty-five hundred out of it. Yeah, no, a little sucker made money. On it. Yeah, he made he made money <laughs> off of it. Uh, it actually went to another YouTuber. It did, and, and he did a, a YouTube over him coming and buying it and all that stuff. So you know, I don't know what he ended up doing with the car, but. Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. that, you know, and, and it's one of those, we'll get another one. Those, those, honestly, those cars are really cool, but like he said, the five to $10,000 ones, they're a dime a dozen. It's the really nice ones that are hard to find. Yeah, and, and really they're not hard to find, they're just expensive. Yeah, like, there he is, bringing them all in. So yeah, it was it was a cool car, super comfortable. It was a good road trip car, you know, it was like a real comfortable oh, real front comfortable. and back seat. AC we took was that ice thing cold. golfing many a times. Yep. AC was ice cold. Uh, you know, just didn't have room for it. Didn't have a purpose for it. So Aiden sold it, and now it's it's being purposed. Honestly, so. we don't have room for it anyways. Look at the yeah. shop is full, guys. Yeah. Uh, especially once you bring the Pete in here, uh, it it's fills real up big. really quick. Uh, we still got some cars that are outside. Uh, I have a lot of other cars that are in another storage building that yeah. we need to get rid of. We're just God, paying these, money for rent for nothing. I know, stay in one spot. Yours well, has we a need break the lock. on them. We need the lock on them. Yours has one. So, but yeah, uh, that an that answers a lot of questions. There for a while, every video we put out, that car was hey, in the hey, background. He's got pants on. Go oh, it. So uh, hey, come fill this heater up. Trying to think. Yeah, it, a lot of a lot of the videos for a while you guys see it in the background want to know the story of it. Here you go. Uh, it is not around anymore. It is gone. It was a cool car, but there was just no purpose for it here. So, and, and every time I, I read through the comments and stuff, and and everybody talking about how I love the blue interiors, there's always somebody that asks about the Typhoon or something like that. And somebody said, "What are you gonna do with the Typhoon?" Obviously, I'll probably sell it. Yeah. I'll probably take somewhere around thirty for it. If anybody wants to buy it. It's it's clean, not super low mileage, but not high mileage 60, by any means. 61, 62,000? Yeah, 60-something yeah, thousand miles. All stock. It's a, it's a cool truck. Uh, I, I wish I could afford it. I would love to have one. But yeah. I it's definitely just, don't you know, they're just... They're, yeah. In, yeah. You know, I'd sell the TTA also. That's the, the, the Typhoon is the epitome of something you seen when you were younger and couldn't afford it. And now you could and got one and it was... And it's, eh. Yeah. So... I'm sure it was way cooler back when I was in high school. I mean, they're still cool they're for still what cool. they are. But. but right now, hands down, I would take my uh, T-Type the, the over the either one of them too. Yeah, it's uh, way cooler than To those. be honest with you, man, if I was smaller, 
I, I may like the TTA more. Uh, I, I really can't fit in it. I, mean, I don't know. That Regal's cool. Like the, the TTA is cool. It'll take that whole thing in. Just let you know. But man, that, that Regal is just sick. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's cool. So. But that'll do it for this video. Uh, we appreciate you watching, guys. As always, uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Share the channel, share the video, like the video, comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see more of, and uh, we'll catch you on the next yeah, one. Yeah, let us know what you want to see more of. Let us know through all the videos that you guys have seen. Obviously, we can't just go road trip a bunch right now. Not right now. Not right now. We don't have the money to buy anything. Yeah. And, It'd just and, be driving. and if we did buy something, it wouldn't make it home. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not with what we could afford right yeah. now. But, um, Never know. Yeah. Just I let mean, us know. Let us know what you like. Let us know what we got that, that you want to see more of, and, and maybe we can make it happen. We do have a little bit of time off. We're waiting on uh, all of our new front end doors from VFN right now, so we can't really do anything with the MPK car. Uh, we're waiting on trailer brakes. Can't really do anything with that. We're just waiting on uh, some weather to get better so that we can go test the, the 55 and the OG. Can't really do anything with those. No. So we're kind of in a holding pattern here. Just, so we're going to make videos that we can and we'll go from there. Yeah, get in the comments. We're going to be more active in there uh, moving forward and uh, just let us know what you want to see and, and what you like or don't like and we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys.